Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about how to deploy printers via group policy. So uh, without any further ado, uh, let's get going. So kind of this is the section or notes we're going to go through. So please be patient, uh, you know, because I like to take things step by step. So I want to make sure things work at the end of the day. So it's going to take a little longer time than most videos, but we will make sure it's working at the end of the day. Okay. So uh, it works on server 2012, 2016 and 2019. And uh, these instructions are, uh, are also, I think, works on 2008 R2. Just in case. I'm pretty sure it's out of date, but uh, just for FYI. So first thing we're going to do is check and make sure print server and group policy are installed. So how do you do that? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click uh, go to server manager. Uh, this is server 2016. Uh, as you can see, I'm assuming here that uh, you have already installed print server or and group policy. If not, I can show you how to do it real quick. Uh, go ahead and it's still looking for the server. So this is a 20, 2016 uh, uh, standard server right here, as you see, to, uh, server 2016 standard. But to go ahead and check that if you have it installed or not, uh, let's go ahead and go to the dashboard and uh, click, go ahead and click on manage, add road and features. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and click on next. Uh, next again and this is the local domain controller uh, also if you have a printer or are you running that's fine too but this is we're just checking it so um, so go ahead and make sure that uh, this is you see print and document services are installed if you don't see a check mark here go ahead and click on that and click on uh, uh, install print server uh, go ahead and click on next and make sure also this group policy management is also installed so go ahead and click on that and and get that installed now if you're just running <clears throat> print server uh by yourself or is a dedicated machine then uh, you should have a do domain joined uh server so all you have to do is install the print server okay so and if you need to install it go to uh, click on that and go through the setup just basically click next 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 and go ahead and uh, at that final step you'll have to install it so in my case i already have it installed so just to make it video a little shorter i've already installed those okay so next step what we're gonna need to check is the active directory and the ou setting so the reason why we check this is so we can make sure we're applying the uh, the policy where we want to so what i did is i went to the server manager again uh, click on tools and what i did is click on active directory users and computers so this is my domain the domain name is uh, parkingexpert.com um it's something i came up with uh so again so i've created this uh, organizational unit uh, called kansas and under that uh, you'll see my name right there neo i've created myself as a user also i created a, a sub ou and this is where the windows 10 machine system sits which we are going to test test the connection so as you see on the left hand side here this is the domain controller and this is the test machine and the software i'm using to rdp into the server and the machine is and remote ng it's a pretty good software you can download it it's free and use it for yourself okay so the next so we're going to talk about the scenario so uh, the way this this works is i have a dedicated domain controller on that dom domain controller i have a print server and group policy installed again as i said you, you could have print server installed on a dedicated server if it's a uh, enterprise network also what we're going to be testing with is this windows 10 machine uh, so i'm going to go ahead and log log into that machine just to show you so this is windows 10 enterprise so i double clicked on that machine and as you see that machine has uh, started to come up here and log me in i'm just logging in as myself and we're going to go to the control panel and make sure there's no printers there uh, so when we deploy it so you get to see it so if you see right here <coughs> under printers you don't see any any other printers also what we can do is check on the system so just to make sure our system information as you guys can see this is windows 10 enterprise okay so this is our test machine which is where we will be deploying uh, that group policy to now something i want to share right here under under the domain controller going back here so we're going to deploy this printer directly to this OU called Kansas. So under this, w once we attach a group policy here, so anything under Kansas, so if I have another, let's say if I have, you know, California or whatever, any other, any other uh, sub OUs under Kansas, they will all be getting this 
uh, <clears throat> this printer policy okay if I apply just to the here then it just applies to that but what I'm doing is applying at the top level okay so <clears throat> so with that being checked so the information we're gonna need is the IP address of the printer and the drivers okay uh, in most cases if you have the IP address drivers we can we can get through it from the Windows update no big deal so in my case I already have the IP address uh, of, of the printer that I want to deploy uh, and the IP address is this 10.10.10.19 so just for giggles I, what I like to make sure is since it's an IP printer and already has an IP address I would like to basically go to that IP address and make sure that I can get reach that uh, printer before we kind of install it so 10.10.10.19 yeah uh, and once we uh, kind of get that once we get to the printer as you see this is a can of printer and this is what we're going to be deploying okay so let's get going to deploy the printer so go ahead and click on the, uh, the server manager or you can uh, search basically and go ahead and click on uh, tools and you should be able to see print uh, management services let's see uh, down here okay print management okay so once you click on print management something like this should appear once you have the uh, have installed the print server now where you see the this is the masterpiece this is the domain name and as you see the printer there should be two default printers in there and under the deployed printers we don't have anything deployed so to add the printer what we're gonna do is first configure the port now the reason why we do it here if you go to the standard set of our printers and add the TCP port in there it comes up as a weird unique uh, identification uh, ID for the port so I always like to add the port here uh, so go ahead and, and and add the let's add the port again so right click basically right click here go ahead and click on add port and we're gonna click on the standard TCP PIP port go to new port uh, the next we're gonna put in the IP address of the of the printer and click next and it should find it automatically right here it shouldn't take very long as it sees kinda it also recognizes it's a canner printer uh, from the SNMP or CDP neighbor information okay so once you click add you will see that right here basically that printer populated so now we're gonna go ahead and add that printer so let's go ahead and click right click add printer right um, and we're gonna select add TCP IP printer by name or IP address uh, well actually since we already created a port what we're gonna do is add a new printer using existing port uh, so go ahead and click on that and we will select our IP address that we added and click on next now we're saying okay do you have the drivers well I don't have the drivers, so I'm gonna say okay install a new driver so in my case I know it's a Canon printer and you can basically go up and down and try to find your uh, perfect uh, you know model number and whatever that is in your case uh, to basically make sure that you can find the driver in my case it's Canon MF6100 this is the machine okay now let's say if you have a HP printer or any other kind Epson Xerox or whatever uh, then you can uh, go through here and find your printer if you don't see a driver don't get nervous uh, basically go ahead and click on Windows update uh, and that would uh, populate the latest list of the drivers that you will that you would want and uh, it will get that list for you and even after doing that if you don't see uh, a, a printer uh, or driver that you need then you can go to the manufacturer's website and uh, download the driver and once you download it uh, you can click on have a disk and browse to the driver wherever you downloaded that okay it's pretty, pretty straightforward oh, another uh, another quick tip let's say if you if you don't want to go through all that hassle and let's say your printer is Canon MM6100 right uh, so if you find a driver that is maybe let's say Canon MF6333C uh, or whatever one once one series higher or one series lower you can always try that driver in 99% of the case those drivers are going to work for you but in my case it looks like I already found the driver so I'm gonna go ahead and click on next here so okay so now it's asking for okay what would you want to name this printer so in my case let's just give it a generic name um, let's call it uh, desk printer right so desk uh, dash printer 
also what well, we we're also going to share this printer and this will show up uh under the share printer and we're going to name it the same because if you name it different then you're going to have a hard time finding where this printer is so printer name okay desk printer share name is also a desk printer go ahead and click next uh and click next and it says installing driver uh printer install install successfully now at this point if you want to make sure that uh your uh basically your installation work and your driver is correct you're going to check mark that print the test page and click finish which will which will kind of print the test page if you want to just make sure that the driver is working fine so as you see that printer is now here so now as you see it's still not deployed so what we're going to now do is going to deploy that printer via group policy now to deploy this printer via group policy we're going to go ahead and right click on the printer and um, let's go ahead and cl click on deploy via group policy okay <clears throat> so once you see this box as you see uh, this is a shared name of that printer masterpiece dash slash masterpiece slash desk printer okay so then we're going to go ahead and click on the browse button and we're going to go to the off section now under let's see let's see what it's saying and give me one quick second i think it's still uh it's still populating the information so you can click on all or domain and what we're going to do here is click on create a new group policy object and under this i'm going to name the policy same as the printer name so just for my information i can understand okay the policy name is same the printer name is same so whatever am I doing it is same. So I'm going to say, okay, desk printer, that's the printer name, dash, I'm going to deploy to computers only. So I'm going to say desk printer dash computers, or if you want to deploy it via users, in this case, we can do it via user. So let's do it via user. So we can say desk printer user, okay and this policy applies which way do you do you want to apply it? do you want to apply it per user or do you want to apply it under machine so we can say okay we want to apply it as a as a user and you i think pretty sure you can check both uh if you want to apply this via it doesn't matter who logs in so we can do it via the user okay um so let's do that per machine i'm going to take that out uh, per user and then let's go ahead and click apply okay so now we have created this policy now what we need to do since we have created this policy we need to apply this policy now to apply the policy go ahead and go to the server manager again and click on tools and we need to go to group policy manage management center okay so group policy management center is right here so the policy that we created under the print server is right here sitting right here but we don't see that right because that policy is not assigned yet so that policy is sitting under group policy objects and as you see it should be right here somewhere right here desk printer user policy okay so as you see that policy is right there okay so now we need to link this policy so anything under anybody under this OU called Kansas is going to get that policy so we right click on Kansas and click on link an existing GPO and go ahead and find that policy okay so uh, that policy is right here disk printer user as you see that is applied and go ahead and click on OK now as you see right here it says okay uh, also when you apply this policy make sure this you don't see this policy also applied at the domain level if you see it right here if you want to apply to entire domain you want this policy to go through the entire domain you, you can apply it at the top level but in our case we're not going to do that so we will right click that and uh, we will delete it out of here and we will only apply it to Kansas so anybody under Kansas is going to get this policy now who's under Kansas so let's go back to our active directory users and groups so under Kansas right there's there's me my user uh, and under that there is a space call uh, Sabatha I guess 
and everybody under that so anybody who's user under Kansas is going to get this printer so how do you verify okay to verify what we need to do is go ahead and log in go ahead and log in to the Windows 10 machine okay so let's do this so we're gonna log into the machine now if you have an enterprise class network sometime it can take up to 90 minutes 90 minutes to populate the policies through the network to make sure that policy gets applied to the users because that user may be sitting about you know three buildings away it needs to contact a couple of different domain controllers and make sure that policy gets pushed so it takes up to 90 minutes uh, for entire policy to apply user policies are pushed every 15 minutes I believe but just to be safe side check it after hour and half but in our case it's only one machine so so what we're gonna do is go ahead and check it real quick see if it's applied or not uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click on device and printers and let's give it a second here hey guess what right here a desk printer just showed up as soon as that user logged in that printer literally just showed up right so it's the user that's logging in a second thing I want to show you guys is let's go back to that policy one more time which is called um, that's printer policy in our case is you see the security filtering is authenticated users so what this means authenticated user is any domain computer or any domain users can have this printer but remember we define in the printer policy right here under the print management that's that literally says okay we just want to apply this per user not per machine so let's do this so what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna remove the per user policy go ahead and click on remove and apply it uh, okay as you see I've just removed it right and I'm gonna go ahead and go go ahead and go back to this machine again and basically going to log out and log back in so that printer should get uninstalled okay so that printer should not show up because we didn't say where it needs to go now it may take a minute or two for it to recognize hey that printer is not deployed to you so as you see the machine is logging in uh, and when you see those things uh, going around round and round basically that's what that means is it's working on it uh, to apply the policies so let's see uh, sometime it takes a second sometime it does not okay so we will have to do a command called GP update to make sure it reads the policy and next time when we log in it will it will remove it as I said it takes sometimes takes 15 minutes to 90 minutes to apply the policy okay so we just said okay so I have applied the policy and updated that so what we're gonna do is going to log out one more time and log back in So user policies, another quick tip, user policies apply when users log in. Computer policies on the other side apply when the computer starts up. Okay, so that's the one quick tip you want to remember uh, because that is very important. Okay, so it looks like it's going to take a quick restart uh, to go ahead and get this out. It looks like the policy is still not updating, so I'm going to give it a quick restart of the machine uh, to make sure that it's working as it's expected. Okay guys, so machine should be done restarting here. So we're gonna go ahead and, and log back in and see if that printer is gone or not. Okay, so right there we're logging back in as the same user. And as you see, let's see. Okay, hardware and sound and device and printers working on it. Okay as you see that printer is now gone okay so we removed that printer from the policy now let's do this let's apply this policy 
via computer base so it doesn't matter which user logs into this computer that printer will be there when that user logs in so how do we do that okay so let's go back to our print server again and what we'll do we'll, we'll deploy the same printer one more time and we'll call it uh, uh, let's say deploy with group policy and we'll, what we do what we'll do is we'll create a new policy this time and we'll call it uh, let's call it desk dash printer dash computers right so okay so and then we're gonna say okay this policy applies per machine and we'll go ahead and click on add okay and so go ahead and click apply and click OK and OK now we go back to our group policy editor and uh, go back to your domain up top here and make sure that policy again make sure that policy is not linked up here so we will remove this first and then we'll apply it at the appropriate location okay so not that is the desk printer computers policy delete so we'll go to Kansas again and as you see that this desk printer policy is there but there is no settings in there since we removed it so for now I'm gonna go ahead and get this policy removed so so this is the user one that we created first and now we're gonna add the computer one link an existing GPO and desk printers computer so this policy what this policy is gonna do anybody under Kansas this includes Sabetha or anybody else is if you're under here and if you're a computer so for example if you go back to the active directory and if we look at it here under Kansas it looks like right here there's no computer but if you look at this about the OU there's three machine remote access uh, this uh, sitting room and I guess Windows 10 enterprise so it applies to those three machines so if you any user logs into this three machines it's gonna see that printer so basically let's see we have applied this policy uh, and as you see computer settings printer connection and it's is this printer okay now as I said again we, our computer policies that are applied when a computer is restarted so just just for giggles on your domain controller what we're gonna do is we're gonna do go ahead and do GP update on your domain control just to make sure that those policies are up to date on your domain controllers now if you have more than one domain controllers it may take about as I said 15 to 30 minutes to replicate and 90 minutes after that for it to deploy okay so back on the Windows machine what we'll do is we will go ahead and simply do GP update uh, group policy update on the command prompt open the command prompt start CMD and basically do GP update as you see computer policy updated and uh, It'll, it'll also show you the user policy here in a second. I'll show you that. Um, so, so right here, user policy, they're both updated successfully. But as we see, there's no printers here yet. So what we're going to do is go ahead and restart the system. And I'll be right back as soon as I restart the machine, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, click start, restart. And I'm going to pause the video in the meantime, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if the machine's back up. As you see, we're connecting. Looks like the machine is still booting up, welcoming us. Okay, so now the machine is logged back in. So we can go ahead and make sure if the policy that we set for computer is applied or not. So we're going to go back to the control panel. Mm. And as you see this uh, on the mouse or the cursor, if you see a round scrolling uh, uh, the dot, it means it's still trying to apply the policy. Um, so there we have it. So this policy is now applied via the user, I mean the computer way. So any user that logs into this computer is going to see this policy. This policy is great for labs. So when you have student labs or, or a library computer lab, so it doesn't matter which user logs in, they're going to see this printer. Now, the one last question I want to uh, answer before I conclude this video, somebody may have a question. Hey, that's great. But what if I want to, let's say, under Kansas, I want to only have, let's say, for example, uh, let's say this is a Sabatha group and I only want to have 
uh, these two computers or let's say just this user is basically that's the only person I want them to have that printer deployed to okay so in that case what you can do is create a security group and the security group is basically saying okay so if you're in the scope basically so if it's just a one user you can define them by name or the username and, and can add them here and basically remove the authenticated user and just have them in there so basically at that point if you have one or two users you can create it that way and that would apply that way but one thing to remember when you add a specific users and when you remove authenticated users from here it's going to give you a warning all right so let's say for example if i want to just add this to a specific computer that windows 10 enterprise so i can say okay i want just this policy to apply to that windows 10 enterprise machine right so i can click on here and say okay computer right and i can search for win uh win dash 10 enterprise i will only want it to apply it here but one thing you want to remember if you that you want to go to delegation and make sure you add authenticated users in here because this is uh this is how uh basically this is how it's going to know uh that to provide proper rights and authenticated user read rights so we'll apply the policy now another question may come up and this works same uh for for the user so let's go ahead and relink that user policy link an existing gpo and we're going to click on that user policy so let's say you have a user and you only want to give rights to only specific user then you can also again here you can remove that user and i'm gonna add uh, just myself here so when i log in on any machine i will be able to see this printer again we got to go to delegation and make sure make sure authenticated user is in there okay so authenticated users read okay now one last Thing before we conclude this what if you have group of users you want to add a group of users or if you want to add group of computers well how do you do that let's say if you have 100 computers well that's gonna that's gonna take a while to add those in there right so in that case what we can do is create a security group for computers and security group for users and you can put those computers and users in there and you can apply them here okay so how can you do that okay so real quick uh, less than two minutes. Let me show you how to do that. So go back to your Active Directory and under Kansas, I'm just going to create a two security groups real quick. Okay. Uh, and you can create them anywhere, but I'm just going to do it here real quick. Okay. Group. And we're going to call it security group. Okay. So we're going to call the first one desk printer. And this is first for computer. And I'm going to create a second group new uh organize not organization needed new group and we're gonna call it desk dash printer dash users okay so now in this group you can add all the machines that you want all the computers that you want to deploy that that basically that that uh, printer so for computers go ahead and click on object type and unselect everything and you can click on computers and select uh, and find all the computers so in my case uh, win dash okay and do check name it'll find it if you have more machine like sit I think I have another one called sitting uh, I don't remember the name um, let's see sit something I know so you can add those via semicolon and you can add the list in there so like that you can add that list there and for here let's say users i'm gonna add members so i'm gonna add myself and Patel, and i can add somebody else um so this is another test users i can add so these users will get that policy now the last thing we want to make sure that this applies we need to go back to our policies so for computers i'm going to remove this since i'm going to apply to multiple computers 
and you can have multiple things here but if you have more than one create a security group because it's much easier okay so uh, all I'm gonna type is desk and check names and as soon as you do that hey look what showed up the, the security groups that we created so that's printer computers so we're gonna click click the computers okay and click OK and again make sure authenticated users in the, is in there also under the users what we're gonna do is remove the specific user and apply a group uh, so let's go to click desk that's printer users as you see right there and click OK and OK and it's in there okay so so this is how you can you guys can apply group policy or deploy printers via group policy um, basically to any any basically any big organization you you know that you have a lab or 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 big um, let's say staff of users that are scrambled let's say one user is in building c one is in building f one is in building a then you can use security groups to deploy that printers to the specific users okay guys one last thing uh, there is another videos that are coming out like these that are very detailed um, like how to set up group policy and uh, how to set up uh, domain controller time sync and all those kind of uh, detailed stuff explained very easily and a very in a clear format so make sure you guys don't forget to hit that like subscribe and share button because this is where it kind of helps me you know get more subscribers so i can i can teach more people how to do things way easier so again so we added that printer created a gpo applied the gpo a few different ways and we tested that printer added and one last thing i'm going to show you right here how to check if you let's say if you have a user that's coming in just for one day and they want to access that printer so what are you going to do for example if i want to add it here i can go to their machine if it's if it's a domain user that's great if it's not that's okay too so i can go to their machine and remember the shared path remember we shared that printer on the network so if you if you right click here go to the properties and click on share uh and let's say and if you click this uh you don't have to list in directory but if you go to the share name which i'll show you if you go to their machine click on uh click on this icon uh windows explorer and type it type your domain name or your print server name then what you'll see hey guess what that printer is right here all you have to do is double click there and that printer will install on their machine and they will be able to print there now if it's not domain join machine you'll just have to put your domain credentials your username and passwords in there who has that rights to it and then hey boom there you go so this is how you set up uh, basically group policy for printers to be deployed over the network uh, in any server environment if you have any questions do leave them in the comments below i do reply to most of my most of the questions that you guys leave down in the section below so make sure you guys hit like subscribe and share and again i appreciate you watching the videos and have a great fantastic day hit thanks guys have a good one Bye bye